thank you again for allowing us to come in here and Merci beaucoup pour vous avoir accueilli. we had come with questions and you've helped answer those questions we were wondering about the specifics of the conference in July and we have a good understanding now as Dr. Steve Tracy was teaching he was just giving some overviews of what we'll be talking about in more depth in July so I'd like to I'd like to ask you to pray for a couple of things pray for us as we go home and absorb all the information you've given to us pray for us as we communicate with our friends back home about what we're going to do with you pray for us as we raise funds to be able to accomplish this project together and pray that in Lumbashi, we will be able to see God take hold of a whole city. And pray that this could become a safe city for everyone. Pray that this could become a model city for the rest of Congo. I was here in your city two years ago. And I've noticed improvements in your city, just in the external things. Just little things like picking up trash. I see less clutter and I compliment you on that. And I pray now that we can get rid of some more trash and clutter in this area of abuse and be, make this a safe city. That our churches will be a safe haven for everyone. Pray that we as leaders would not be guilty of spiritual abuse. Pray that we would each examine our own hearts to see that we're clean before the Lord. And finishing off where we started this morning with the calling of Samuel. The last prayer request is pray. And you pray the prayer that Samuel prayed. And you respond the way Samuel responded. And between now and July, you pray the same prayer. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. And let me pray for you right now. Father, I thank you for these men and women here who've come from different professions, some as doctors, some as pastors, some as caregivers and helpers. And Lord, I thank you that Dr. Steve could come along and teach on this area of abuse, Lord. And we pray that what has been taught would be caught on fertile soil and would grow up into a healthy plant that would impact the city of Lumabashi, Lord, all over the city, so that everywhere the churches would be known as safe havens and that they would be able to have influence in their community. And Lord, I pray that for our churches at home and uh, for our cities at home. Lord, may our churches be safe havens for everyone and may they be churches that have impact on our communities. So Lord, we ask for this. We ask for your grace and favor as we look forward to a time together in July. But we pray for the resources to accomplish this in a good fashion. We pray for health and strength and wisdom and studying and preparation. 
And I thank you, Lord, for all that's been communicated already to us in these uh, questions and these answers that have been provided. So, Lord, bless our brothers and sisters here in Lumabashi. Bless this great nation of Congo. And, Lord, may it become a, a nation that's strong for you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Lord bless you. It's great to be with you. Yeah.